CMA Fest now just one day away shines a spotlight on Music City and really all that country music has to offer. But one town just outside of Nashville has been catching country music's eye for years and just recently earned a shout out from one of its biggest stars. News 4's Rebecca Cardenas has the history from Hendersonville. This plaque placed here just two months ago by the Tennessee Historical Commission stands where Johnny and June Cash's home once did. This spot is a huge source of pride for the Hendersonville community, but now one other main drag through the same town that the Cash has called home is getting its own chance at the spotlight. The first sign you've made it to Hendersonville. Uh, there's just a special place in somebody's heart where you kind of come home. A town and a road that left a mark on country music star Thomas Rhett. Had no one to go, a point road. Spurring a lyric and a song about the place Arlene Cunningham still calls home. Right off the Center Point Road in Mansker Farm subdivision. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> People do still care about each other. Rhett released his fourth studio album last week. The title track Center Point Road, an homage to his hometown of Hendersonville, Tennessee. Hendersonville. Um, is kind of unique. They had their start here and they lived here and they made their homes here. So we like that uh, reputation. The city has attracted country music stars for years. It's where both Thomas Rhett and Taylor Swift got their country start and where Johnny Cash settled down with June in the 60s. As far as what makes Center Point Road a worthy landmark, Cunningham says it's a part of town that stayed true to Hendersonville's roots amidst a boom in economic growth. Well, there's still that uh, that neighborly feeling and that closeness that uh, families like. In Hendersonville, Rebecca Cardenas, News 4.